Jürgen, given the chances you created tonight, what are your thoughts on a performance that probably deserves a lot more than you got? I don't sure if, I'm not sure if he deserved a lot more than we got. It's just that we played a really good football game, but at the end they scored three and we didn't score, so then we have, that's easy to accept. Uh, um, but football, you have different things. Um, um, what you, as a manager, what you have to judge, and for me, of course, it's very important how we how we played. And I'm completely happy. I told the boys I'm proud of what we how we played. I think it was the best away game in the Champions League so far, and not only this year, last year included. Um, against a side like this, um, playing this kind of football, I was completely happy. We we we, we, we played between the lines. We played through. We were we were in the box. Uh, we had. We had really good chances. We caused them a lot of problems, so that's good. And Champions League now is like this. If you lose away, it's not a massive problem. can happen. As long as you score a goal, that's the problem tonight. We didn't score that goal, and um, so that makes our life now not easier, to be honest. But um, from my point of view, my boys gained a lot of respect again because for the, for the way they played, I'm so happy how they developed and... I had so much fun, uh, really, in that game, but at the end, we lost it. That's now not really funny, but um, um, I'm long enough in the business to, that I ha had to learn to accept things like this, and I do that, obviously. Um, well, yeah, but that's it. What then do you say to your players in there as regards whether there's still life in this tie, but also to pick them up ahead of Newcastle at the weekend? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I said to them that I'm really proud of them that I really like the game, that it's wonderful, but we don't have to think about the next game against Barcelona. Now we play now Newcastle. That's um, that all our focus on. So go go in the hotel, have a proper sleep, get up in the morning and um, fly home. Um, and then uh, prepare for Newcastle. That's how it is. But um, whatever happens, these boys... <laughs> I really, I, I, I couldn't be, I could, I couldn't be more proud of them. Big up, not. I, we know the result, and people who didn't see the game will say strange things about it. It's all good. We accept that easily. It's just how they always strike back in in in, in these kind of games. Difficult. How they, sh how brave they are in these moments. So I just like it. So I just like it. And at the end, of course, it's still a three 0 Whatever I think about the game, it's still a three 0 and it will not change. So, but it's okay. Um, let's fly home and play Newcastle and then we play another time against Barca. Rory, we'll come back over Rory Smith from the New York Times. Pleased with how your players played. What in particular made you happy about what they did? What did you ask them to do and what did they do well? And just from what you just, had just said then, what did you do wrong if you did anything wrong? Do we really think that people in America want to read that specific football <laughs> things? Are you, an, are you the educator there? Or do you bring the football knowledge to America like that? Yeah, that's all good. All good. Um. <laughs> so, football is very important. I think everybody in football is, is impressed by Barcelona, the quality of the players, the stadium, the competition, all that stuff. The challenge in football is not to show that respect. So you have to be, you have to be ready, really, to to look sometimes ridiculous, really, that you that you miss that you that they, you got a nutmeg, whatever. But you have to be there. You have to make this last step, and then somebody's there and can collect the ball, and we can start playing football. So how we defended it, how brave we were in these situations, how how, how that I like that. How when we got the ball. Uh, we were not always brilliant, but we were pretty much always really good. So we played, we controlled the game in moments, we let them run, uh, we, they had to defend, we played between it. It's just, we created, maybe not constantly chances, that's not possible, <laughs> we have to strong for that, but moments, moments with the, with the, with the chance to make a proper chance of it. So that's, that's good, and that's what you have to do. You have to create by yourself, and that's what we did. And, um, and yeah, nobody should be really interested in it. Probably only a few football nerds will talk, think about it because it's about the result and we lost 3 0. But I, I can work really good with this game. That will be in my. I will use that for, for whatever to, to show the boys what's possible. Um, yeah.
you saw the game, so you 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 saw basically good things as well. So it was just was a brave performance. It was just good, very passionate, um, very lively, very how is it? Um, in a lot of moments, creative, in a lot of moments, direct. Everybody was on their toes. I, I liked the game really a lot, but that doesn't absolutely help. I don't know, I don't know that, but um, still like that. Okay, last couple uh, gentlemen here, then Paul and then Dom's finish. Okay. Hi, Jürgen, uh, Richard Martin from Reuters Agency. Um, I wanted to ask about Luis Suarez. Obviously, there seemed to be a lot of focus on Messi before the game, and you did a decent job of shackling Messi for about an hour, but Suarez was always causing problems. Was he uh, something that you focused on as much as Messi? You really think that I told my boys, ignore Suarez. Oh, what? I didn't see too many problems, which he caused, to be honest, but it's normal. He, with the quality, he causes problems. Whatever you do, however you plan it, we are not so silly that we think if we defend Messi, then we win the game. So the first goal was pass Phil Coutinho and a wonderful strike, a really good strike, a goal, I have to say, from Luis Suarez. No, we didn't. We were not surprised by nothing. It's just the boys. It's difficult to defend. if you, They are so good. So they, if that's exactly how you say, if you, then you control in a moment one player and then the other, but then the other player has a bit more space, but it's nothing to do with being focused on one player or the other. We defend the ball. Whoever has it gets our full concentration, and um, that's how we try to do it tonight as well. So, well. Okay, Paul and Dom, then we'll finish this one. Jürgen, do, do, you, do you think you have a chance in the second leg? Because it's football, yes. But <laughs> um, before this game, we had a bigger chance. Let me say it like this. <laughs> so, and that's um, look, it's it's difficult. What can I say to it's Barcelona, and um, um, if they can play for counter attacks, that doesn't help us a lot. That's difficult to 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 avoid. Um, and yeah, I, because it's football, we should still try. But um, it doesn't make it now, um, it didn't make our life easier, obviously.